I found a cockroach in my apartment this morning. That's kind of been devastating to see. Check, check, check. I gassed the fuck out of it, though. Check, 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 one, two. What'd you gas it with, Raid? Yeah, I have Raid. So I saw one the second day I lived there. And then it it was in the same spot. But (laughs) last time I saw one, and I got Raid, and I just gassed the whole kitchen, like, under the sink and everything. And then I haven't seen one in, like, three months. And then today there was one. How bad did it spook you? Not, it didn't spook me because it's the same. Dude, both times it has been... Like right in this one area, and it's been upside down. Like it, like fell from somewhere. Pretending to be dead, or uh, no. it just couldn't flip. Couldn't flip. That is the softest part about a pretty scary animal and cockroaches. Cockroaches yeah. are terrifying. Eh, cockroaches don't scare me as much as uh, m- like mice. Oh really? Well, I'm on the mice other side. Mice are fast. Yeah, but they're furry. The mortality. Yeah, but cockroach. dude, this the raid. If you saw it, it okay. made it seem like a pussy. It right. died within <laughs> it died within five seconds, literally. It was like going nuts for like a good one second burst and then it died instantly. Did you get like a, a rush from killing it? Did you kind of feel what, what Hitler in them? No, I was gonna because it was upside down. <laughs> it was upside down. So I was gonna just smack it with a shoe, but then I was like, then it's gonna be on my shoe. And then I remembered that I had the raid. Right. And they crack open and 50 more crawl yeah, out of their belly. Yeah, yeah. They like spawn out of their yeah. fucking stomach. And then I looked it up and I was like, should you be worried if you have one cockroach? And it was like, should you be worried? You should be worried. <laughs> yeah, no it literally recourse. said, like, should you be worried with a question mark? And then you should be worried, period. <laughs> that no solution to your problem. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you should be worried about spraying raid in your apartment. It's like you, you no, could kill shit's, yourself. No, that shit's not toxic. The stuff that I've been using. In, in, I looked it up. I looked it up because it, oh, really? it smells super strong, but it's not. It's just like, a, I mean, I think... With a, with that kind of thing, the amount the amount that I sprayed on, it, I think it could have been like Febreze and it would have killed it. Yeah, cooking spray. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what uh, what is in raid? I don't know. I think it's the smell that steers them away. <laughs> Just I know that's what tell. it is for like mice and rats. Because remember that spray that we use has that like super strong like cinnamony smell. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cockroaches hate cinnamon. <laughs> well, no, the you won't catch or, a cockroach at a cinnabon. The, I know that's what it was for mice. Like the smell steers them away. Yeah, mice. They think they think Cinnabon is stinky as hell. Yeah, we're fucking anti ants. Yeah, right, should we start? I I feel like we started. Let's keep that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I okay. feel like that was that was very illuminative for me. If you want to do a quick clap. <laughs> okay. I don't think the podcasting is usually much better than that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a masterclass, brother. <laughs> I didn't even know we were going. I was just having a genuine conversation about the mice or not mice. Cockroach, yeah. singular. What is in this? It's rocket fuel. <laughs> yeah, is there like espresso shots and no, stuff? No, no, it's just regular, but variety does have that fucking... Yeah, because like one sip of it and I'm already like jittery. Same. I'm on like a... I'm trying to do a 24-hour <laughs> fast too, so I'm, I've am i been up for fucking... Since 3 a.m., just pounding coffee, not eating any food. I'm vibrating right now. Oh, <laughs> I like coffee. It's just I wish it didn't have the effects that it does. Do you ever go into variety, the one down the block? No. It is. I don't like going to coffee places in New York. It's like the young professional like hub. Yeah. It's ground zero. And then you it's, walk in and it feels like you're not supposed to be there. Yeah, everyone fucking yeah. stares at you. Just uh, white dudes in cornrows and fucking <laughs> cool tattoos. That and Jeffrey's shit like that. one is the one that I steer clear of. That one Jeffrey like the, is nothing compared to variety. Really? But Jeffrey's logo isn't Jeffrey's logo. Jeffrey's like, logo pisses me off. <laughs> it's like horn rimmed gla- buddy like holly hipster, glasses. Yeah. It's like a dude with like a. I don't even know a what quaff. Hair. Yeah, a quaff. <laughs> a and quaff. then like sunglasses and then glasses. Hipster yeah. glasses. That's crazy that that's who they're trying to attract and they just fucking say it out in the open like that. Yeah. But variety is even more. It's like the CEO of that fucking that brand of human being. Yeah. It's fucking nasty over there. Well, let's get down to the brass tacks. Yes. South Africa. Yes, dude. Let's talk about the plane. <laughs> 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 Bro, you did FaceTime me from the plane on the way out there. Yeah, was it the same on the way back? No, they they uh, you were they, in coach. They had me in the fucking yeah underneath the plane. Might as well have been. Just Where were you actually at? In the, in the not first class section. Business they fucking class, they they all that we spent the last couple episodes sucking Delta's fucking cock. And then they fucked you. It went limp in my mouth, dude. Yeah. I was looking up. I was looking up uh, <laughs> yesterday how how you can get to Diamond, and you have to have you have to do over sixty flights in one year, or one hundred twenty five thousand miles. Yeah, and you have to spend what was it thirty thousand dollars? But I don't think you have to do all of that. No, it's just you one do. of them. 
It's only one of them. No, you got to do. Oh, for for a diamond, you could get the one hundred twenty five thousand miles and just be good. That's insane. But I'm still. I looked it up. I'm not halfway there, and I just went to Africa. Yeah, I, I was looking. They at make mine. it impossible. Yeah, I'm not even close. I'm, not even, fuck, I'm still not even close to silver. But they lie to you. They lie to you about being able to use these fucking upgrades. I on the way back, they're just like, no, it wasn't. It didn't wind up being available. But well, I, they probably would rather just give it to someone who's willing to pay twenty five thousand dollars for the seat, <laughs> yeah. rather than someone who wants to upgrade for it. Definitely, someone who wants it for free. <laughs> yeah. Trying to find the yeah. biggest loopholes, and they're like, "No, totally you a- fucking idiot." <laughs> yeah, it was still sweet on the way out there. I Facetimed you because I didn't even have anyone to like share in the joy of it with, without seeming like bragging. And I thought I was like, "Sass is my is my one true confidant as far as playing appreciation in this world." And you looked pissed when I Facetimed you. Well, it was insane. I mean, you had a whole room but you gave me no you weren't like yeah that's fucking awesome buddy i was also completely naked (laughs) when you facetimed me (laughs) yeah and all i saw was a fucking reflection of what i can only assume was a fucking (laughs) cabbage of a dick (laughs) round (laughs) like a fucking 16 inch softball (laughs) you see burt kreischer's dick i saw burt kreischer's dick i was just gonna bring that up that can't that uh, that wasn't that wasn't his dick yes it was it was, it his was dick? a penis. That it was. Yes. It wasn't his dick. How I was they talking about that, that with someone else, and they were like, "Yeah, no, I don't think that's his dick." It's, it was. I'm like, "Have you guys ever seen a dick?" It wasn't. Dicks that don't was go dick. like that, dude. It was huge. I watched. He's uh, got a fucking hammer. No, that yeah. wasn't it. That was <laughs> artificially fucking. You, have you seen it, dude? It was massive. So how was it on Instagram? It wasn't on Instagram, was it? Yes, it was. It was. That's where I saw it. it was oh, on I saw Instagram, it on Twitter. which makes me think that it's fucking fake, dude. But I think it was because you got to like. I had to. I zoomed in. Of course, Balls. of course. Yeah, that's course. what every, I, everyone was talking shit to me because I zoomed in. But also I saw it and I was like, is that a dick? And then I zoomed in. And I was like, that is a fully a penis. I don't think it fully was, though. I think that it was the same prosthetic that they used in episode one of White Lotus season two. No, because then he posted. No, because then he posted a drone footage of like they were doing like promo for the Gord show that they did. And it went like through his legs and they had to put an emoji over it. Yeah, because that's probably was his actual tiny penis. No, dude, he has a massive dick. No, he has a team of fucking CGI workers. He has all. No, dude, because it was so blatant that the that it wasn't supposed to be in that photo. No, it was. What do you mean blatant that it wasn't? It definitely was not supposed to be. This is a cock that's uncircumcised. Yeah, it's definitely uncircumcised. Confirmed. I don't know. I haven't talked to him ever. I don't know about. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know about his. No, man, was that cock real? (laughs) Yo, Bert, was that cock real? Big fan of the machine story. (laughs) It was a hundred percent real, dude. (laughs) And it is. It's uncircumcised. No, it's not. But it's like a. It's like a. Dicks don't hang like that. It's like a lengthy uncircumcision. I saw Lena the plug sex tape. He's got like an extra inch of uncircumcision. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) it's just like a big turtle, like the top top. of a balloon. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> just a fucking sleeve. Just yeah. a fucking big sweater sleeve hanging off yeah. the end of that. That was not real, bro. There's no way that his... Because he wouldn't be able to wear pants. I don't think he does wear pants. Dude. He walks around in like underwear. No. I've seen him in every manner of fucking like bathing suit, shorts. But he always wears like underwear and he has to put like shit over his... Over the, the bulge because his dick is so big. That's not true. We would have heard about this beforehand. I don't think it's that shocking of a thing that Burt Kreischer has a big dick. He's a massive person. Everything on him is big. He just has a big belly. He Actually, he's, big he head. strikes me as a, and no offense to him, but he strikes me as a tiny guy, tiny no, dick guy. Dude, he has a mat. I mean, we saw it. <laughs> we saw the dick. I don't know why we're like. Yeah, but it's, you're, it's, you, it's more it's more telling of you <laughs> that you saw his penis and now you're convinced that it's fake. But you photoshopped fake body parts on yourself before. I don't. Why think, do you think I it's impossible think, for a dude who has I don't a social think, team of thirty I don't people to think do that? Bert was. I don't think that was running through his head. Was like we got to photoshop my dick into this. <laughs> I don't think he does like the same type of tweets that I did when I was sixteen years old. <laughs> I, maybe. <laughs> maybe, but I'm saying one of his young savants on his team might be crafting some shit like that. Maybe. I don't know. In 2015, <laughs> Burt Kreischer said, I killed a lion before I was circumcised. Ah, so, uncircum... Wait, so before he, he was cir- So he circumcised, he said. I mean, that's a funny joke. I feel like if you <laughs> really... Probably, I mean, we saw his penis and it's not <laughs> circumcised. <laughs> so he was probably running a bit. I th- that's definitely <laughs> a funny bit. <laughs> Burt Kreischer's dick is not real. <laughs> no, dude. Do you remember how old real. you were when you found out that Burt Kreischer's dick wasn't real? Your parents had to sit you down? I'm sure they'll talk about it somewhere. <laughs> you think it's a mountain? Yeah, go uh, do you guys know? Have you guys ever yeah, see, seen see, a dick before? No, it looks like a shadow. 
And it in wouldn't be what all the way, way. Does that look like a shadow? Dude, for it to be over a all the way to the left like that, it would have to be hooked like Gonzo's nose. It'd have to go, <laughs> it would have to protrude a full foot and then go down two full feet. Um, Harry, have you ever seen a dick? I don't think you guys have. <laughs> it's a shadow of a mountain. <laughs> you guys ever seen a mountain? Have you have you seen That's not uh, what a mountain looks like? Have you seen the colorized picture of Harry Houdini's dick? No, it tiny. <laughs> it's like it's so small it like goes up. It's yeah, like a light switch flicked on. That's like what dicks look like back. But you gotta day. find yeah, back in the day. Yeah. Before humans evolved one hundred years ago yeah. <laughs> having dicks longer than a half centimeter. You gotta see Harry. I think I have. Dick. I think I have seen it. It's like like it looks like a piece of bubble wrap. Yeah. Like it looks like one of those like poppers that like you push down and they jump up two feet. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. How is that such a clear photo? AI. I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it has to be AI, right? <laughs> that is a an Audi belly button. And he's sackless, too. I mean, dude, when you're, getting, when you're chained up, ready to submerge yourself into water... <laughs> That you might die in. It's probably you're probably the smallest penis you could possibly have is in that scenario. I think it's the other way around. I think his dick is so small that he's like, chain me up and throw me in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> if I get out, I don't care. I have a fucking pimple for a penis. You know, he died because he got punched in the stomach. Yeah, which is crazy because that dude who we just saw in that picture is very muscular. Yeah, I know, but he died like a couple, like a day later or like maybe hours later. Yeah. That's like when people say if you get choked, you can die like in your sleep, like later. Really? Yeah. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like, uh, like if you get MMA choked, choked? If you, no, like if you get like choked hard, you can like live and then in your sleep, you can die. Should we try it? No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to try that at all. Putting the hands up to the fucking neck. Yeah. Some shit like that. Like they did on my football team in sixth grade. Did they do that to you? Oh, no. All the kids did it. And I like told. Oh, when you would like get a buzz from yeah, that. Yeah. You would, like pass out yeah. and shit like that. Be hilarious if one of those fucking idiots died. And I was right. They probably did. And I told him my mommy. Yeah. <laughs> I told, told my family. So South Africa. Bro, they fucking. Uh, the lions bite down on the face of the fucking uh, of the buffalo to kill it. And they suffocate it. Yeah. The same, that's how they kill it. They don't fucking rip its fucking throat out. They fucking bite down on its mouth to fucking suffocate it. Our buffaloes, buffaloes are pretty slow, right? Uh, compared to a lion. I mean, compared to a lion, but it's like a pack of lions. I don't know. Yeah, I saw no, so sucks. I saw so much. They're kind of assholes, aren't they? Who? Lions. They roll up with like a pack of like 30 of them. Yeah, I mean, like they're trying to win. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, literally kill or be they, killed. They sleep for like 20 hours a day. These the lines I saw weren't sleeping. Maybe the males do. the The male was lazy as fuck. Yeah. The male was just this fucking slovenly piece of shit. Yeah. Let the women do the dirty work. Let the women fucking. That's carry like the an seed. old like motivational quote. Like that lions sleep for twenty hours a day, but they have a really productive four hours. <laughs> yeah. That's like an old one. They're like a depressed teen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They fucking crush it on Valorant for four hours and fucking get back to business, dude. They said the female lions will fuck as many males as possible mm -hmm. even when they're pregnant because the males come from uh like pride to pride and they kill all the kids that aren't theirs mm. so the females to counteract this they have as many kids as they can no they'll fuck as many lions when they're pregnant so oh, they're so like they don't we don't know if it's we don't know if it's ours wow. we don't know whose it is that's super interesting how, that's weird <laughs> how fucking slutty is that yeah that's <laughs> Dude, crazy these slut whore fucking lions yeah. not to shame them i mean it's their way of uh staying alive that's, that's not slut shaming nuts. <laughs> isn't that nuts yeah so there's one we watched a fucking pregnant lion like fuck. go like she like this young there's two there's two bros that like run the 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 little like area that I was in but then on the one day this fucking other lion came in and uh like he was like roaring by the fucking river trying to get these women and we saw the fucking female lions that fucking prowled up to it and the the guys were like this one is pregnant but she's going to go have sex with him and so is her sister the two fucking sisters the fuck? went out and fucked this lion. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> because Damn, he just dude. came into town. And That's like, awesome. They said if the other two lions saw him, like they would immediately kill him. But he's just walking through to literally <laughs> get some pussy, dude. He's just fucking strolling through. We I saw didn't him. know that animals like killed each other <laughs> like that. Like I didn't know that like like same species of animals like fought that often. All of them. Yeah. And dude, uh, 
I, uh, my buddy who's in Alaska, he was talking about that with the bears. The bears are always fighting and killing each other. Yeah, they're so territorial. Yeah. Even within the same, uh, within like the same groups from within the same families or within like the same, like two brothers. Like uh, we watched these nine cubs and four mothers, four like lionesses, like eating a fucking a buffalo. We yeah. watched him eating the fucking shit that, out of right? a buffalo's stomach, eating yeah. literally ripping his asshole open. But there was like, you think, like a, do you think they care about what part of the animal that they're eating, or do you think they're just eating all of it? They do eat all of it, but there's parts, there's sweet parts that they go for first, like yeah. the shit from the stomach yeah. and the sweet, sweet asshole. Ew. Gross. But there was like two brothers that were fighting with each other, and the dudes were like, these two brothers are like, they're getting it in now, but one, eventually one of them is going to become the dominant male, and like. Like this pack can't stay together because they're gonna either fight to the death or fight until one like gets banished to another part. That's crazy. So they have no sort of like sympathy for like family or anything like that. Like they'll just kill their family members. It's like food gets scarce enough that eventually, like I mean, some brothers will will like fight with each other. Yeah. And there are the two brothers that hunt with one another, but uh, brothers will like just brawl out with each other. That's crazy. It was so fucking interesting and fucking cool. Yeah. It was just every part of it was just like so fucking exciting to me. Like we're just going through and just I'm just like literally like dapping up my wife like yo, <laughs> yo this shit is fucking fire. Didn't Francis not see like any of that shit when he was there? I think he saw he went on a different uh, trip to a different place. So oh. I think he was kind of more focused on like the gorillas, and that was like an option to go to a. different Did you see country. any gorillas or no? It was a, there. Is there? They don't. Yeah, uh, they're not where they, you were. they don't live down in South Africa, but uh, he was like so he was intimately like among these gorillas. But uh, like it was pretty rare to see the shit that we were seeing. Yeah. Like once the guides started like taking out their phones, yeah. and, like, filming, I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. this is some good shit. That's nuts. So did you uh, did you guys go on a safari like every single day? How it worked was uh, you you go to this lodge, very nice lodge. And every morning they call you at six wake up call. They come to your room at 630 and they have to walk you from your room just to like the main part where you can get some food or whatever. Why do they have to do that? Because there's like jaguars that live on like the premises. Oh, shit. Like the three, this jaguar has given birth three times underneath the like place where they have breakfast every yeah. day. There's footage of the jaguar just fucking So are they strapped through. up when they're walking with you? I'm sorry. The fucking leopard. I'm saying a jaguar. Yeah. Classic misunderstanding. I'm a fucking idiot, dude. I are got they strapped say, up? Yeah. They got the hawk? They have a fucking long Beretta? ass old school rifle. Oh no, shit, like, really? Like with a musket? A, with th slugs like this. Oh, like damn. And the guy has them on his belt, dude. They're That's fucking, crazy. It's, it's like, I've never had to use it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, I'm sure. He, sure yeah, he says that to everybody. Use it? Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. He's definitely had to use it. A hundred percent. But I, they're, they're like, there's like a pool in the backyard of the fucking rooms or whatever, like a hot, like a mini pool, like a hot tub type of thing. But it's like, can I sit in this? Yeah. Or is a uh, fucking leopard going to come and fucking maul the shit out of me? That would be crazy. But they, so they walk you to, to uh, like the, the main part at 630. They're like, what do you want? Like a coffee or something? You get your coffee and you hop in for a, like a three hour safari. And then that's over at like 930. You get breakfast, chill, probably take a nap for the rest of the day. And then they pick you up again at three o'clock. And then like, at like, or three o'clock, 330. They like get you like a drink. They'll like get you like a little road soda or whatever, like a gin and tonic or yeah. some shit like that. And you hop in, and you go for another like three or four hours of safari. So it's just safari all day. Every day. That's crazy. And it's still so exciting. Yeah. Like even on the last day, we're like hunting these same lions. It's not hunting them, but like try like little the dudes get out, they're like fucking tracking these fucking yeah. lions. Yeah. It's fucking so gnarly. Uh it was exciting until like the last moment. It was fucking sweet. Why? What do you mean the last? Oh, 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 oh. Until like, like the, until, until the like the yeah, 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 until like the, the very say, end. What happened at the last moment? <laughs> <laughs> and then we lost our guy. Yeah. And, and our his, guy was mauled to death. His guts were fucking ripped open. Oh. It was fucking, uh, it was sweet. And dude, what the, one of the sweetest things about going out there was uh, their fucking money. It's, it's just cheap out there. So I was like, I took out $800 to like, petty cash to like tip with yeah, for like yeah. the, the the whole of the trip and they gave me twelve thousand of their dollars oh shit <laughs> so i just and all in hundred dollar bills and like a, a very nice tip is like a hundred dollars yeah so yeah. i was just like <laughs> yeah just tipping fucking everybody yeah. dude but it got me into trouble twice uh because i like i confused i confused dudes i confused some of 
Oh, my no. African brothers, while I was out there like trying to tip them. Yeah. Like the first day getting off the safari, they had been giving me the fucking gins and tonics. And I was like, shit faced. T- took a couple edibles while I was out there and I was like stumbling off. You I brought tried. edibles to Africa? Bro, they they have like weeds they like legal. Stone you to death for that? No, 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 no. <laughs> weeds legal in South Africa. <laughs> really? First off, there's Rastafari's everywhere. Yeah, like yeah. they're selling like fucking herbs and shit like that. But also, there's weed stores like Weed Maps. You're in the airport and there's like dispensary fucking shirts. Like it's a Is brewery it brand. I didn't smoke any of it. Yeah. I just uh, I assume that it it's not. I assume it's not either. The fucking American, like, fucking chemical <laughs> yeah, factories yeah. that they have Hydro, converted. Hydrochronic. Yeah, the hydrochronic, yeah. indoor, outdoor, yeah. 42% with the, the dust on it. There's no way they're up to date with the hydrochronic. <laughs> hydrochronic? Hydroponic? Yeah. There's, There's no way they have that. Yeah, I don't think so either. But the, it, it is becoming, like, more uh, widespread and legalized. But I got off the fucking. Did you do any, like, crazy, <laughs> like, crazy African drugs? I heard that uh, quaaludes were still available oh, yeah. there. yeah. So you my boy, any? my boy and his mom, my boy Mike was like, dude, if they have any quaaludes, like bring me back two hundred dollars worth. And his mom's like, get me two hundred dollars worth too. She must have loved them in the eighties. Yeah, quaaludes, I guess, were incredible. Yo, yeah, like a pill you took him, they made. Well, you they're feel muscle drunk. relaxers, right? Are they? I think. I don't know what quaaludes are, but they're like they're, that's just one of the last lewd, one of the last lewd spots. I think in the in that's the world. nuts. Did you but find? I any? couldn't find. I didn't even know who to ask. We were just like fucking, we weren't in that orbit. We weren't, we weren't in like the fucking, in like the, in the hood. Like we weren't in like the townships. They have like townships that are built of like fucking metal all over. Yeah, like they got South some Africa. nasty areas in South Africa, right? So there's some, like some, I think crime, there's some abject poverty going on yeah. out there. I think that there's a lot pretty, of like robbery out there. Yeah, yeah. I think, but I mean, there, it's, it, there were, people were like, are you afraid? Like, is it going to be like dicey? There was no time when i felt unsafe when i was out well there. you were at a resort i'm assuming right yeah when i was in uh or i mean when i was i was just at a hotel when i was in uh cape town but when i was i was in a resort in uh like kruger national park up where i was where the safari was but i hopped off this thing all fucked up and i just like gave the wrong guy yeah, like two hundred dollars yeah. and he was like so excited <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> fucking loving it and then like on the last night i tried to fucking break some dude off and gave it to him i was like hey thanks so much for helping us out earlier and he was like that was not me. <laughs> I was like, at least you're being honest. Yeah, you, yeah. I should have just gave him some cash for being honest. Here's 400 for the honesty. <laughs> yeah. Did, uh, for being a good boy. Yeah. Any talk about Rodriguez out there? Yeah. The one guy brought it up. Really? Yeah. What do you say? He's like, have you guys heard of Rodriguez? Yeah, I he told you, dude. Rodriguez? <laughs> Did that actually happen or are you fucking I swear me? to God. He was yeah. like, uh, sugar man? You guys yeah, sugar yeah, man? yeah, yeah. Dude, I was working so hard on the accent. I was like, how do I do a proper South African accent? Is that how it sounds? I think it sounds something like this. That sounds like British. But it's very close, I think, to British. But I think the perfect word is right. Because like at the beginning of the word right, they kind of like one roll the R like right, right, right. Right. Yeah. And then it's like O-I. And then they, whenever there's a T sound, they, they hit the T really hard. Like at the end of a word, like smoke a joint. Right? Damn. <laughs> that's awesome. Like that. I don't know. I'm fucking busting up the accent. That's crazy. And you went back to back vacations as well. We, we kind of skimmed over your first vacation. What do you mean? You were out at the beach for like a week. I went to the beach for the weekend. And then you went straight to South Africa. I went to the you Jersey Shore. You went back shore. to back vacays. Jersey, you think the Jersey Shore is a vacation? <laughs> for the average man, it is, yes. <laughs> that's business. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the Where Jersey are you going Shore. next? Montauk this weekend. <laughs> really? Yeah. Dude, you got to sit errand. still. What do you mean? You only get one life to live, brother. I know. In the fucking sweet ass summertime. Plus, we're about to have the fucking grindiest fall of our life. We are? What? <laughs> about to have the most relaxed fall we've <laughs> yeah. ever had. Literally, everybody's <laughs> leaving. <laughs> Erica gave us a fucking backpack. She said, put the fucking company in there and fucking take right care of business. Speaking of which, Out of Order comes out this weekend, this week, right? Does Wednesday? it? Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Also, I zoomed all the way in and used AI to upscale it to 4K, and this could not be less of a cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the same shade. We could see, you could see a little bit of his vagina lips. It's not what even near his balls. What is coming out of his asshole? I don't that's- know what that is, but that's disgusting. I don't want <laughs> I'm good on that. Also, I got to. But throw also, it in out of order, seven p.m. Wednesday night. Yes, and I will also be in Atlanta this weekend. I don't know how many shows I'm doing. It's either four or five. They keep on changing it, but I will be in Atlanta 
at the punchline. So oh, fuck. get tickets to that at Lil Sasquatch website.com or at the punchlines website. But that is uh tickets are moving, so get that. Are they? They are. Nice. Except for one of the shows. It's very Which uh, one? Which the Friday this? late show. Um, like uh, no tickets sold. I'll buy every ticket in there. No, I don't want that. People do <laughs> that. People will hit me up and be like, dude, I'll buy a ticket. I'm not gonna I live in fucking South Dakota, but I'll buy a ticket. I'm like, that doesn't I, I need people to be at the yeah, show. Yeah, I need a warm body. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not like the money. It's like I need someone to be there. I need a loud laugher. Yeah, <laughs> but the shows are uh, it's Friday early is almost sold out, and then the Saturday ones are are close, and then Friday late shows slow, but it'll pick up. But yeah, get those tickets. Where were you at this weekend? Huntsville. Huntsville, Alabama. Now who's taking vacation? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> I would on, not man. call that a vacation. <laughs> Come on, bro. That was every wild. fucking weekend with this guy, bro. Dude, that was H nuts. <laughs> Alabama, dude. The culture, like I'd been, like we went to Waco, like but that's like a different type of South. What do you mean? This was like the most like South South place I've ever been. Like like when everyone's like, oh, culture shock, like shit like that. That's what this was like. It, what are you talking about? Grits or racism? Or? Ra everything. Racism. They all act like they're from the fucking 1940s. House. They all oh, move, everyone moves slow out a there. Specific decade. <laughs> yeah. Or like, dude, they about they the all 40s? talk like they talk about New York like it's a city out of like Star Wars. They're like, I could never go to New York. They're like, it's too fast there. <laughs> And you're like, dude, what the hell are you guys talking about? <laughs> it's actually the slowest town ever because there's so much fucking traffic that like dude, the average car speeds seven miles an hour. That's what you would think until you go to Huntsville. Dude, the TSA yesterday, I got to the airport. Like, it's I'm taking out from Huntsville, Alabama. Tiny airport. I'm like, I need to get there, what, five minutes before I board? Yeah. I get there, there's 10 people in the security line. I waited probably 30 minutes. Why were they giving? Because they all stop and have an hour long conversation with the TSA guy. They're like, "How are your kids doing?" Like, like they they, they know I'm really personal. It's like oh, they're like overwhelmingly like I wouldn't even say they're friendly because I don't think they're friendly. I think that TSA and places like that are like the scariest, most dangerous ones too. Probably like I'll bring weed through fucking any like a lot of airports. Oh, they would kill you there. There they'll they would be murder like you. they yeah. would shoot you in the head. Smuggling center. Yeah. The yeah. fuck is this? <laughs> They're yeah. fucking not taking anything like they're they're not taking no for an a they're they're not gonna take any stories or anything. No, no, no. You they're, still get the death penalty there for weed. <laughs> yeah. Like genuinely. Oh, I think 100, you do. I, yeah. I I really believe it. Yeah. Like if you got caught with like a pound of weed, you're going to prison for life. <laughs> and probably gonna go they're probably gonna transfer you to like Guantanamo. <laughs> yeah. Guantan Guantanamo. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, you're definitely get going on death row. They're torturing you. Yeah. But I mean They held you by this. Yeah. <laughs> It, it, it's like the the whole city is clearly like there there are normal people there, but dude, they're also like there's people there that will say something like you'll be having like a, a normal conversation with someone and then they'll drop like the most racist thing that I have never even like thought like something that was more racist than you could even imagine, and then they'll be like, but we're not racist. They, they make the barbecue yeah. better because their elbow goes both yeah, ways. Yeah, like, like they the instantly <laughs> they instantly follow it up with like, but we're not racist, and everyone thinks we're racist. <laughs> and you're like, dude, dude, we had a guy. I don't want to shit on anybody because I know it's just like a different world out there. But like, we had a dude who was like, I think y'all gotta to come. He's like, y'all gotta come out with us after. Don't bring any blacks though, because they won't let you in. <laughs> and then he's like, but we're not racist. And I was like, dude, I mean, you just described that was racism. What you just did. <laughs> I was like, you just did a racism, dude. What the hell was that? This is textbook. Yeah. Let me look it up because yeah. I might not understand what racism is. No, exactly racism. Yeah. No, that's exactly what it is. That was word for word racism. <laughs> yeah. But they, it's like they say shit like that, but they like they don't, don't... bring them around because we will yeah. kill them. Yeah, but, but they don't love There's anything wrong with it. And then like. But hate has no home here. Yeah. It's like so segregated. <laughs> really? Like, dude, like there's a lot of black people there and there's a lot of white people. There's, I mean, we probably, I probably feel like we saw more black people than white people, like at the hotel and shit. Yeah. And dude, the white people in the black people, they don't even look at each other. What? Yeah. It's crazy. Why did you get booked down there? They saw your demographics? It's the same place that runs Zanies. Oh, really? Nashville. So it's usually like if you do one of those clubs and you do well, they try they book you at all of them. Who? What is in Huntsville? Is there like a major college there or some type of industry? Like the FBI, I guess. <laughs> the NASA Space Center. Really? I wonder fucking why. It's a small town. I 
was like a personal day yesterday, but like a schooler. Yeah, his flight wasn't out until 7 p.m. Hey, folks, let's talk about bare bottom clothing. Bare bottom, my favorite, your favorite. These are bare bottom. He's rocking bare bottom right now. I was it's a rocking- fantastic clothing brand that we know Barstool yeah. fans would love. We, because we love them ourselves. We love them ourselves. Stretch shorts. They got the joggers. Obsessed with the joggers. They sent some t-shirts through. I, but I, I think I bought every pair of shorts that they have in the store. They oh, have yeah. the best shorts in the game. I got to re-up. Quote me. They do have the best shorts in the game. They got the seven-inch seam or the five-inch seam. But if you're a man, you should be wearing the sevens. Yeah, I mean, if you're Burt Kreischer, you're hanging out of either <laughs> yeah, one of them. Yeah, you so might need the really 5.5s. doesn't fives. matter. <laughs> No, you might need a a 28 inch seam if you're him, but they're sold exclusively through their site. So you're going to want to go right to the store for premium quality shorts and tees for much less than all these big legacy brands. You can get free shipping on your first purchase. All you got to do is go to barebottomclothing.com slash son. Get free shipping on your first purchase. Yeah, barebottomclothing.com. That's, that's what I just said. Yo, you didn't say get free shipping on your first purchase. I think I did, but either way, bro, people, people. Kn- Let's talk about Game Time, the exclusive ticket partner of Barstool Sports, created by fans for fans. Game Time is a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. I am going to Drake this Ron week. Ron and I are going to Drake and Twenty One Savage this <laughs> week with Game Time. I did. I literally did get mine through through Game Time. I hundred percent. I will get mine through Game Time as well. Twenty one. Can yeah. you do something for me? Game Time. Can you do something for me? <laughs> yeah. It's possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could <coughs> never buy. Eagles tickets, Sixers tickets, bro. Pat Bev on the Sixers this year. Sixers tickets. We are in the building. We have to go. We got to get feet on the hardwood for a Sixers game. Bills Jets first week of the NFL. Really? In New in New Jersey. Wait, are you really already looking at the Bills schedule like that? Yes. You're a sports junkie now. The Bills play the Jets in New Jersey week one. No way. Aaron Rodgers. So, so we're going to the game. I will be going to the game. But you're adding yourself to the Drake concert. But I can't add myself to the well, Bills game. I was never invited to the Drake concert. So and I you never... added yourself regardless. And so here I am oh, we'll doing see. the exact same thing through game time. And it's a problem with you? The whole point is that you get to skip the hassle and enjoy the moment. Download the Game Time app or go to the website. Enter your email and redeem code BOYDAD for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. You had the same <laughs> Uber driver? <laughs> oh, and that's the, the thing too, Uber dude. The Uber driver drivers. Time. It's like, I mean, that's kind of everywhere that you go that's not in New York. But, dude, they don't stop talking. Yeah, that's tough. That's like uh, they'll like call a family member and be like, I got a boy in the car who says he's from New York City. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll like be like calling their son or some shit. What does pizza taste like? Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> um, That's fucking hilarious. We had an Uber driver like give us like pamphlets for like church the next morning. He's like, come see me. I'm a preacher. Uh-uh. And it's like, dude, it's just nonstop. Like Everybody's that. a fucking preacher down there. Oh, yeah. And like, uh, like anything is a church. Oh, yeah. It's just like a fucking car set up on cinder blocks yeah. and with a, a cross over it. Yeah. It was a very... <laughs> yeah, just come worship. It was a very interesting, like, week in terms of shows, too. Like, the most of the shows were good. Like, the first three, the third the third show, the early Saturday show, was, like, amazing. It was, like, one of the best shows I've done in a while. Huh. And no one was there to see me. Like, no one. They were there for Horny Batman. They were there for Horny Batman, and they were there for... <laughs> they were there probably because they got, like, the club did, like, a... Pro, like, I didn't sell well at all. Like, mm. they did, like, promos and gave away tickets and shit. But the early show was unreal, dude. It was, like, like a radio station promo, you think? Yeah, probably. We got a boy coming in from <laughs> New York City. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Free tickets. Yeah. But I, like, dude, I, like, murdered on the early show. Like, I was doing this, like, shit that I do that, like, that sometimes does well, sometimes doesn't do well, and it's all about, like, shit. And they were like, people were like taking their glasses off, like wiping their eyes. And then the then the next show, it was the same amount of people, same like, same like demographic. And I ate a dick, dude. Really? They hated me. I got like big pops, but like most of the time they were like, This, we hate you. Really? Dude, such a weird like You were headlining? Yeah. Interesting. So what else could have what what else could they have been there for? I saw you just pick your nose, bro. I didn't. I wiped my nose like that. I think there might be a booger on your sock right now. No, that's not booger. That's fucking <laughs> cheetah dust or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Leave me alone. 
<laughs> I don't care, bro. Um, my one tour guide in in uh, uh, Cape Town was picking his nose all fucking oh, yeah, day. like a fucking. He would boink, and then like boink, just wiping them on his. I mean, I guess I mean, it's, you got to do it, dude. Everyone does it. He was doing it for just, hours. Some people have the balls to do it in public, and other he people had don't. like a fucking factory of Oompa Loompas creating new <laughs> boogers in his nose, dude. They were churning them out on a fucking assembly line. It was like I love Lucy, him like fucking picking boogers out of his nose, dude. That's was, crazy. Would you go back? You think? I a hundred percent would go back. Do you think you're it was going one to? of the best trips of my fucking life? Really? I couldn't recommend it more to like uh, anybody. Just seeing wildlife like that. Um, but also Cape Town was beautiful. Cape Town yeah. was like a fucking... It looks nice. It's a very beautiful town. Was it cold there? It was. Yeah, because like, you were posting there. like... Ja you were wearing jackets. But they said it of was Of course, like you had some killer safari fits. Salute, brother. <laughs> 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 just some earth tones. But they said it was going to be 80 degrees. So I packed for 80 degrees. I had just had some like two light jackets. Yeah. But you got there and it was like... You never look at the lows when temperatures come up. You always no. look at the high. And some places have like, it's like New York, it's like the high, the low is usually maybe like five to 10 it's degrees tight lower. Because there's so many buildings. You're yeah. basically inside because the yeah. buildings are like creating yeah. an incubator, keeping the heat inside. And then you go somewhere else and it's like 90 and then at night it's like 30. Yeah. And you're like, what the fuck? Dude? It was uh, it was lows of like 42 and yeah. 48 some days. Yeah. And uh, I, d I was only looking at the high. Yeah. It's going to be fucking nice as shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't wear shorts one time <laughs> yeah. the entire time I was out there. That's crazy. I also just wouldn't walk. I like didn't take any steps every day. Really? Just getting a safari just vehicle. Getting the safari? There's like, you can't walk anywhere because like a fucking a leopard will kill you. That's crazy. I can't believe they brought up Rodriguez. I mean, they were like, he, the guy was. On the first day, it was so shitty and rainy. We didn't get to go to the place Table Mountain. He was just taking us to like fucking like hipster neighborhoods and like yeah. record stores. I was like, bro, I can buy like. I was like, bro, New York is the best vintage in the world. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to show me vintage, bro. We got L Train. They're yeah. actually, dude, someone from like a, a really like vintage crate digger would like fucking love the shit that they had out there really because it's like real gnarly ass fucking old ass vintage from fucking that's like actually like five dollars yeah like how it was supposed to be now like vintage shit is like so it's saturated like 300 bucks yeah, <laughs> yeah. I it's went to, significantly more yeah. expensive than any other yeah i went to metropolis the other day yeah just walked by i mean dude that is that that place should be burned to the ground yeah what they're doing in there is insane. Yeah, people, they, everybody. Like the shirts be, aren't even like good quality no, your shirts. Your shirt would be one forty. Oh no, there. this would be three hundred, dude. <laughs> it definitely they're like would. Hanes shirts with like a fucking graphic on the front that it seems like they're like vintage, but it seems like they might just be making a lot of those shirts themselves, like just like yeah. pressing them. And they're, and they're making all, them shitty. Yeah, they're all over one fifty. It's insane. They're like spray painting spit stains on. Yeah, them. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just doubling the yeah. price, dude. It's absolutely gross. Yeah, the people who are just exclusively buying that shit should be locked in those stores yeah and uh, l train is good though l train is pretty cheap prices is it yeah i don't know i think new york is just so i mean there's just so many people and so many of them are kind of going for that same look that it's like impossible to get uh, you, you got to go to like west virginia someplace a little bit oh, gnarly yeah. to feel atlanta like actually i'm gonna go when i'm in atlanta they have they have some pretty good uh thrift shops there yeah if you i mean i bet huntsville if you went to some place in huntsville no no they would have had some yeah, awesome you want to pick up like an, a vintage nazi uniform <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> game worn confederate <laughs> fighting for the grays the uh robert e lee wore this hat <laughs> it was it, uh, people there were nice though like the yeah, because you're white. Yeah, for what reason? yeah. <laughs> the staff was all really nice. It was a fun weekend. It was a good weekend. It was pretty like the the Friday Saturday is the best though. You come to the bar, just don't tell them that you got any doing you. Yeah, I know. You think that they're accepting? But then them? they do. Then they don't laugh at things that you would expect them to love. That like you could do in New York, and they would love it. But like you would do You're like a stuff. like a racist like a yeah, yeah. like a racy joke like a joke about, about race. race. Yeah, yeah. And they are they fall silent because they're like that's not us. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why <laughs> they I mean, genuinely I think, think they, that they're yeah. not. They're like I think no, they're like super defensive about that shit. We ain't racist. Yeah, we're just smarter than them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very, very. It's just like a different culture. It's crazy. Yeah, like I had been to like like I don't know like Atlanta. Obviously, is not like that because it's just a fucking city. It's a massive city, and then like. Texas is pretty much Texas is really not, it does not feel like that at all. 
like even like Plano, Waco. I think you got to get out there. I think Waco that- was like cowboys. Yeah. Waco was a little crazy. Waco was nuts. We they were like we were in like everyone smoking inside. Yeah. They're all wearing cowboy hats. What was that for? Like mayors or whatever. I don't remember what it was. The one that we went to. Remember we went to when we had to drive back to From Fort West, Worth. It was like with a band, the poker band. Yeah. From West Texas. Yeah. Yeah, we were when we were in Waco. Yeah. Oh, that place was fucking crazy. Yeah, that was like tumbleweeds down the street. But that's so. like that even that south is was so much different than like the Alabama South. Like so much different. Yeah, that was like the South. That was like the old West. Yeah, that was like, yeah, it felt and like this, you were in a fucking like, like dirty Harry or some shit. It was like country versus western. Yeah. Like that's like western. Yeah. Like the fucking flappy doors or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Like, like honky like, tonks and shit. Yeah. The country mayor was like, there just as an Yeah. Country. Yeah. <laughs> The mayor's there just getting shit faced. Just groping a woman. Yeah. Just yeah. like honking a titty. That one dude played high school football uh, because like the coach would give him drinks at 14. Yeah. He's like that good at football, but didn't want to play. But like, I'll give you free beer, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is fucking sick. It is a different, a different vibe. I just don't know what else is like like what else would be like that. I guess like Mississippi. I guess I think, parts I Arkansas, of Georgia. I think Arkansas really Yeah. Arkansas is like the fucking nucleus of the South. I yeah. really feel like they're they're pretty gritty down there. I know, like deep, like outside of Atlanta, I know is somewhat like that. Yeah, the Georgia, yeah, uh, like Georgia Southern folks, and I think North Florida too is probably yeah, like that. definitely North Florida. Like Florida? No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fucking. Grunt. Yeah, it was interesting. It was it was weird to see. Yeah, it's uh, dude, this office is weird to see right now. Yeah, it's insane. Do you like it? I just like don't. Uh, what do you even like? I sit on a couch and then I go do the act and then that's it. Are they trying to like move people along? I don't know what they're <laughs> trying to do. It seems like they don't want anyone to be here. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to just like keep keep everybody yeah. going. It's like the, one of those couches that would be in like a billionaire's house that like you never actually would want to sit on. Yeah, that. but it's too shallow to sit <laughs> yeah. on. You're, like, like, yeah. like You're sliding off of it the whole time. <laughs> just makes your like belly and like fucking upper thighs look terrible. Yeah. Is I need a deep ass couch. I'm trying to be like fucking lost in the in the couch. Oh yeah, me too. That's what mine's like right now. It's a pain in the ass to get out of. They probably hired like a fucking consultant. Yeah. Uh, like oh, hundred percent. Fifty million dollars yeah. to come through and fucking redesign the office. I don't know what I was expecting when they were like, "We're re- we're redoing the office. We're remodeling." Yeah, I don't know. Are people hating on it? What's like the uh, vibe? Seems like people. I don't think just- anyone cares because everyone's leaving. Yeah. <laughs> they're fucking lost man yeah <laughs> tell, you, tell you that fucking much man i know it's man. uh um, um i'll tell you that much man come on man <laughs> <laughs> it literally is a lot of people's last week big cats last week big cats last week kate i think is gone already i don't know brandon walker's gone damn i uh kb and nick don't move for another like three months <laughs> <laughs> okay it's almost like they don't want to go i know they'll get there once it's nice and cold though <laughs> right when <laughs> Long winter. Yeah. yeah, they better look at the lows the when they seven s- months of winter. When they see that temperature. I'm I'm a. I know you're a big summer guy. You're done. I'm done. I need it to get colder, dude. Why? This is insane. It's insane what is happening here. It's it's it is happening like dude, it is worldwide so right now. Hot. Something bad is happening <laughs> in the world dude, right now. It's it's just uh, I sweat nonstop. You've got candle wax skin. Dude, it is, dude. <laughs> my apartment is so goddamn hot. You do look like you were dipped in slime. Dude, it is so hot. <laughs> it's a nightmare. I tried and to I, shake your hand. I just slipped all yeah. the way up. <laughs> the fuck? And some dude, like I was talking about that on the yak, that like I I, I keep on waking up like sweating. <laughs> and some dude was like, by the way, dude, like night sweats aren't normal. Like you should probably go get that checked out. And I'm like, dude, it's a hundred degrees in my room. It would be more alarming if I wasn't sweating. Yeah. I'm sweating because then you it's might be a so pedophile. goddamn hot in my apartment. <laughs> then you might be that. Who was who the pedophile that didn't sweat? Uh, the, the prince of prince. <laughs> some prince. Who was it? And he was like, they, they were, he was uh, on Epstein Oh, Island yeah, yeah, a bunch. yeah. You talked about that on uh, Matt and Shane. Yeah. And he was, yeah. <laughs> he was like, that can't be me because I don't sweat. Prince, <laughs> Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew, yeah. yeah, yeah I have yeah. a condition where I'm unable to sweat. Yeah, but it's fucking so hot. It's, uh, I saw people <laughs> are flocking to Death Valley because it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that picture of him drenched because sweat. the girl gave a statement and she was like I, I, he was disgustingly sweaty and he was like she was like fucking 14 or some shit and she was like he was so sweaty and gross and he fucked me and he was like ah, 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 ah. I don't sweat 
<laughs> I did fuck you. I did but fuck I did you, not and sweat. I was gross, but not sweaty. Okay, <laughs> little girl, um, run along. People are going to Death Valley because it's supposed to be like breaking a, a national heat record in yeah. Death Valley, and people are going there specifically to experience it. It was like it's like a, in Vegas. I know it was like 120. Yeah, there it was. It's supposed to be 132 in Death Valley or something. That's nuts. What is a sauna? What What is the degrees of a sauna? Sauna is like one. I think it's anywhere from like 150 to 200. So you can. You can tough that shit out. I would, have you ever been in a sauna? My, uh, my buddy's grandma had a sauna. Yeah. And we went in that. It was actually that for the first time I ever got drunk. And we were like, all right, now we got to sweat it all out. And we went <laughs> Wait, in Wait, right sauna. away? <laughs> no, like the next morning. <laughs> oh, really? And we went in the sauna. And we said it's like 190 or some shit. And it was, <laughs> it was not Three fun. boys die in the sauna. <laughs> yeah. That'd be such a shitty way to go. And then you what pour it- the water. Yeah, it just steams yeah. up. That is the funnest part. It That's is. a satisfying By ass far the best part. But what's your take on saunas? Do you think that they work or do you think it's malarkey? I haven't been in a sauna. That was probably the last time I've ever been in a sauna. I used to, I've used. i thought for a long time that they were malarkey. And then I recently went in a sauna and the sweat that came out of me was such like a different brand of stink that it's like, damn, something's leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> like a bad experience just left through my armpit or something like that. Or like I lost my fear of oh, heights. <laughs> my fucking ball sack. It was I, I never had I had experienced that specific pungent odor. There's no way, dude. <laughs> I, I don't believe that at all. That a different odor came out? <laughs> yeah, I that. swear to God, a different type of sweat. I don't even think it's like, I don't even think it's like sweat. I think it's like surface sweat that's like forming on your body. I think there is, but I think it's like, to- whatever it's like they're steam. talking about toxins. People say it gets rid of toxins or it's good Does to get- it though? I, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Are you pro or are you against it? I have no thoughts on it. I haven't done it enough to know. Brother, we got to fucking- Get ass naked, slap some towels around our dicks and fucking sweat. Well, the biggest bullshit thing in the world is my Cold fucking showers? gym oh. does not have a sauna. And it's like, oh, it's supposed to be like a luxury gym. It's like, dude, that's the only thing that separates a luxury gym <laughs> from a normal gym is a sauna. The sauna and the fact that there's no jizz on the floors yeah, of the bathrooms. And there's no sauna. And the kid, like, I signed up for the gym two years ago and they were like, yeah, we're working on the sauna right now. We're Are you talking one. about the one you're paying $10 a month for? No, that was I used to go to that blink. Okay. Blink, I'm, I want. I wish I, I might go back to blink because it's like, yeah, like Planet Fitness damn near has a sauna. Yeah, Planet Fitness probably does have a sauna. Or they, they probably like just like spray face all the shit. tanning beds at you yeah. at one time and count it as My a gym sauna. has nothing, dude. We have we have like the like the locker room is nice, but that's pretty much it. There's like three benches. You go in there and you just gotta wait. You gotta stand around and wait. Sounds like somebody's back in the fucking jungle though. Oh yeah, I went three times last week. Gonna go today. Probably not. Go. Probably tomorrow. Whatever though, just hit the bench, bro. That's all you need to do. Bench press is your calling card. Yeah, it sucks though. I've I've, I've lost all of my strength. Yeah, I mean I'm still getting the rust off, but it was it was uh, humbling. <laughs> yeah. Also, dude, I I uh, I did ten minutes on the treadmill walking on incline, sweat through my shirt. <laughs> yeah, like, my shirt was see through. That shit is bad, but that is also it is the way. Yeah, it's just because I haven't moved my body. In it is the way, year. for sure. I got back from this trip and I, I hopped on, or I got like the biggest, nastiest McDonald's meal. I was like, that's what I want. As soon as I got back, yeah. I got on the scale. I'm one pound away from being the heaviest I ever was. Oh, really? So I'm like, oh, I won't eat for a couple of days. <laughs> so I'm trying to do a 24-hour fast right now. Were you drinking a lot out there? No, like just every day. Up? Just every day? <laughs> there, I mean, they said that the I kind of went on a run and you were gone. Did you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's oh, how you go. You're streaky. You're a streaky hitter. <laughs> yeah. You're you're like a 220 hitter, but when you hit, you hit bomb. And now I'm off. Are you? Back off, yeah. We'll go. This week, we'll go to the fucking. We'll get back out there. No, not for me. Let's go to the Drake show on Thursday night and fucking get bombed with OBS. There's a Drake show? I think so. Yeah, Drake 21 Savage, I think, is here all week. Really? Am I, I bugging? definitely go to that. You it's would? Yeah. Game time. Show me what you would do there. <laughs> Hell no. You don't want to see what I would do. <laughs> yeah, you would. Be bringing out my Alabama moves. <laughs> <laughs> Line dancing. <laughs> Bring on the motherfucking problems. <laughs> I can't believe I used to be racist, dude. This shit is crazy. <laughs> No, uh, Bro, New York is actually. I really think Drake cool. just needs to headline in Huntsville, dude. He could change <laughs> shit down there. What the hell? <laughs> They'd be fucking shocked at him. I've never been to like a big concert like that though. Like, where is it? Uh, I think he's in uh, BK. Mm-hmm. 
using BK all week. What, what, what is that like? You just stand in a seat or do you just sit down? I think if there's a seat behind me, I'm going to be sitting. That's the thing. I have a hard time staying up if there's an option to I sit. Know. But mm -hmm. that's why you got to get in line, uh, incline <laughs> treadmill all week just yeah. to prepare to be yeah. able to stand still at Drake. You see that chicken boss who fall down the balcony? No. no. Dude, so I feel like that happens a lot. At, Dr at Drake? Yeah, so he brought out Tatum, and they're in, like, the 300 sections, which is, like, basically 90-degree angle, like, sitting. Yeah, there. yeah. And she, like, lost her shit. She's like, oh, my God, Jason Tatum, leave for it. And she fell, like, down the whole thing. Like, Ooh. she was, like, top row, basically slid all the way down. The video stopped, but, like, heels hitting back ahead, ah. like, phase eight concrete. You Look saw that video of the dude with the, the, dude at the baseball game with uh -uh. the knees? Uh -uh. You didn't oh, yeah. see that oh, one? Oh, my uh -uh. God, his knee exploded. That one's bad. Who, Dukes? No, yeah. no, that way sick, worse. Bro. It was? <laughs> Both of his knees, like, exploded. Oh, he was like oh, his, oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. At yeah, the top of the stairs. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, that video was Just crazy. arguing, being yeah. so mad. Imagine how mad that guy was that he had to ask for the help of the people around oh, him. Yeah. He was so furious. What do you think he was even yelling about? Probably some dumb shit. Balls yeah. Strikes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <basic>. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I went to a America's fucking- rugby pastime. I went to a rugby bar for like a rugby game out there. I wanted to like feel like the, the town yeah. and see what it was. And it's like the first rugby game of the season. The Springboks, who are the South African team, were playing against Australia. Yeah. And it just showed me that sports fans are the exact same in every fucking oh, country. Yeah. No matter where you are in the world, it's just these fucking- bald like fucking like shitty stupid drunk cigarette smoking idiots yeah. that are just like why didn't you fucking pitch the ball yeah. the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> do they uh do they what do they drink out there uh like beer log they were crushing lagers at this what kind bar. of lagers they got uh just like some kind of any local gulls? lagers huh they had any gulls out there <laughs> i didn't have any gulls <laughs> i was asking but they they bud light Bud Light's uh, probably banished from that city. No, no, definitely no Bud Light. But I don't they they had Corona. We got a nice Corona. Corona? Yeah. And uh then just like loggers. I was just crushing loggers. And then I was doing like, you know, So you some, never had any like South African South African wine is big there. Oh. Okay. It's massive. It's like the vineyards are fucking right there. And the South African wine's pretty world renowned. Dude, it was fucking fire. Yeah. I don't know. Like you set up a wine, I don't know necessarily what kind it is, or yeah. like uh good or bad, but this shit tastes is that good. like that like supernatural wine? I think it's gotta be something like yeah. that. Crazy shit's gotta be happening with the fucking tectonic plates out there oh, yeah. just jamming fucking because it's just mountains right next to the yeah. ocean. Yeah. A beautiful looking city, just like an enclave surrounded by mountains. It's That's fucking awesome. it was fucking sweet. But the the dudes at the uh rugby bar were the exact same as the guy at the baseball game. Just like stupid just fucking fighting. angry yeah. ass fans, fucking pissed off. They bet down there? They, they, is the sport is the Barcelona sports book out there yet? Oh, I was trying to spread the word. I was going door <laughs> yeah. to door. I was look, yeah. look how easy it is to interface. <laughs> and they were pretty impressed by how easy it was to interface, dude. I was kind of knocking their socks off by how smoothly you could interface from one thing to the next. Yeah. It was fucking fire. Sounds awesome. Yeah, they get it in, and then they said that the gin or the uh, the tonic that's in that goes with the gin is good to uh, kind of get. Uh, it scares away the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes don't like it. And if you're going to Africa, a lot of people are worried about malaria down yeah. there. You bring it back. I didn't even fucking take the medicines, dude. My wife the whole time was like, should I take the medicines? I heard they give you bad dreams. Like she's asking every single person. I didn't even ask my doctor. I didn't give myself the chance to what take the medicine. What does the medicine do? Is it like a prep type thing? I think it's like hydroxychloroquine. Oh, like the shit, shit that, that fucking Trump was, to, or whatever they really? was talking about. Yeah. But, uh, or some shit like that. But I didn't take any of it and I was completely fine. And there's malaria in the United States right now. There's Supposedly. Malaria. I don't think that's like a, you probably find out in a couple of weeks if you're fine. There wasn't a single mosquito at the winter time. No, there. I'm sure there wasn't. I got worse bites down in Seattle, bro. We were in Seattle on uh, my boy's boat, and uh, you're just fucking vacation mode. I got to get on navigation. His, you definitely do. I got to get on vacation. vacation. <laughs> his boat got stuck. The the boat got stuck in the mud. <laughs> it was really? Like, yeah. Oh, it was that's like mortifying. it was a full moon, so it was historically crazy tides. The boat got stuck in the yeah, mud. Yeah, yeah. So we fucking hopped out, and we're fucking like. Pushing was the it low? Boat. It was like dead low tide. Yeah. Oh, it was, dude, how do you let that happen? How do you? How did, were you guys just like? Hammered? We were on the way. They, we were on the <laughs> way out, like looking at other boats, being like, "These fucking idiots! They look at these fucking yeah. buffoons." Went to the place, uh, like, and there's some weird shit down in uh, 
Like there were Confederate flags flying in New Jersey in this one town oh, that we yeah. went to. They weren't fucking playing around. We got some That's drinks Trump over town. there. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was Trump country. And then on the way back, fucking got stuck dead in there. Yeah. But I was getting bit by fucking greenies in there. Like, you know, the, you know, what greenies are. The like the like, flies, uh, like that nasty yeah. ass flies, and they yeah, gave me green two heads. fuck green heads. Yeah, they fucking greenies. gave me some fucking. It's definitely a Philly thing. They call them greenies. Green heads, dude. We call them green heads. <laughs> green heads. They were the same type of shit. Those things fucking hurt. They hurt so. They yeah. left like marks that are there the entire time. Yeah, I was like marking a green off head the marks. Bite is like this big. It was just. It was foul. Yeah, but I was marking them off, being like, okay, I have this one. I have this oh, one. Oh, because <laughs> if you were gonna go to Africa and come back, like, wait, did it just yeah, do? yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, it was fucking. Uh, that would fuck me up for sure. I know. I wasn't scared though, because the dudes down there, they never take it. No. They're probably immune. They're not scared. Probably immune to malaria. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not, it doesn't usually hit. But if you get it, it lasts for your entire lifetime and will come back and can kill you. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> I know. Did you hear, though, it's been, it's in Florida and Texas, like, as of, like, like the last two weeks. That's horrifying. It's coming to the U.S. How does it even get here? Someone probably goes to South Africa and brings it back with them. No, it's got to be the mosquitoes because you can't, it's not, you'd have to like swap, you'd have to have like, you'd have to have gay sex with someone for that to happen. To get malaria? No, it's like a sure blood, I'm saying AIDS? it's in your blood. <laughs> but I'm saying it's in your blood. Like it's not like uh, you yeah, can but just then get it from skeeter, somebody but then else. A skeeter could just get, could bite you and then they get your blood and then they go bring it to someone else. Mm, that's a good point. Yeah. I haven't even thought about this. Like skeeters. reusing a needle. <laughs> Yeah, it is same concept. It's, a, it's all over Kensington. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Malaria is going around because the rampant heroin use. Hey guys, let's take a second and talk about Factor. Now that we're in the thick of summer, you might be looking for some wholesome, convenient meals to support sunny, active days. Factor, the ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with fa- flavorful and nutritious ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well. And stay on track reaching your goals. Too busy with summer plans to cook but want to make sure you're eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store, the chopping, prepping, and cleaning because who wants to do all that? And you're still going to get the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Then you can get back outside and soak up that sweet, warm weather. This July, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-filled meals delivered directly to your door. They're ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash sun50 and use code sun50 to get 50% off. That's code sun50 at factormeals.com slash sun50 to get 50% off. Let's talk about- verbatim. (laughs) Let's talk about Z-Biotics. Let's face it, after a night with drinks, I don't bounce back the next day like I used to. I have to make a choice. I can either have a great night or a great next day. That is, until I took Z-Biotics. Until I found Z-Biotics. That is, until I found Z-Biotics. Z-Biotics pre-alcohol probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. In this byproduct, not de- it's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this, br- this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut, where you need it the most. Just remember, you drink Zbiotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Go to zbiotics.com slash boydad to get 15% off your first order when you use boydad at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using our code so you can stay prepared no matter what the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember, to head to zbiotics.com slash boydad and use code boydad at checkout for 15% off. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this episode. Dude, everyone's going to fucking Chicago. We got to open an office in Kensington. That would be awesome. Sell dope on the side. Barstool Kensington. Huh? <laughs> Barstool Kensington. Yeah. 
Dude, can I? Can, all I see is fucking tweets from like Ian Michael Chong or whatever. Do you know who that dude is? No, but <laughs> I saw some wild one yesterday about uh, Morgan Wallen. What was it? Morgan Wallen said the N word in 2019, yeah. and now he's sold out a baseball stadium yeah, twice. Was that one? Just goes to show you should be using the N. Yeah, I didn't know what the like what the point of that tweet was. Correlation is causation, brother. Yeah. He's successful because he uses the N word yeah. rampantly. I don't know. Twitter sucks. I don't really go on Twitter as much anymore. More of just a fucking, I read a lot now, hit the gym. What rhymes with country singer? <laughs> oh, it's close, but. I, uh, what are you reading? Nothing. I was kidding. I, I don't read. Really? No. I just watch fucking TV. I tried to buy a book on the way down. Uh, I tried to buy The Rise and Fall of the Third Reich. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a good one. I tried to fucking dude. Lex Friedman's talking about it. Like it's his. He's like, I've read it multiple times. I went to the store. It was fucking this thick. It's yeah. like twelve hundred pages, and the front cover of the book is a massive swastika. Oh, imagine do like trying to do some light beach reading. Yeah, you can't be having that. Out <laughs> the guy who's like fucking has a, you has get a one of those like paper with bag. a swastika. Yeah, you have to make one of those fucking paper bag book covers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Maybe put on What's your science there? book. Yeah, <laughs> but I draw the swastika on the top yeah. so I remember what I'm reading. Yeah. Well, who is the cover artist for that? <laughs> it's like we need that to be the fucking. Just this fucking thug ass book, unbelievable. Yeah, I haven't been reading anything. I Instead, don't I got this book doing. called Sapiens. It's pretty fucking good. That book's good. You yeah, read you got that. you just gifted me this one. Same talents book. I'm definitely about to read this. It is really good. You should read it. I bought it. I bought it because I'm a man of the people, and I support comedy. Bro, two facts. Two this is a C sign. It's a signed copy. BT Dub. Really? Yeah. Personalized. Or? I don't know. He just posted an Instagram story, and he was like, "I'm doing fucking two for." 20 bucks and it was for something he said that he needed money or something like that and i was like all right i'll buy one of these because I, I i i like i read he all my books on money <laughs> i know he did i read all my books on the kindle i need money for like food or something so <laughs> i read buy my life's right? work i read all my books on the kindle and then i never have the books and you know you want to have the books to show the them shelf. off yeah so i bought them and then i was like well i don't need two two is a little excessive it looks like i'm fucking hoarding the books two for one is a funny I have, deal now to i have do three book. copies of this book <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i've bought this book three times so i figured hey i'll give one to roan yeah well don't read that one i want to be the first one to crack that one open i've already cracked it brother i want to give you two facts from this fucking this this book sapiens that i'm reading though uh one of them is that language was created for gossip Okay. Like for humans, like the the way and reason that language flourished was just because we're little gossipy housewives and we just want to tell people about fucking each other as a society that like it doesn't matter if you say like there's a lion by the river. It, it's like it matters if you say like the fucking girl from this tribe is like having sex with the girl from that tribe. Damn. Language created for gossip. And second one. I'm going to go with no. You don't believe that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, with language is probably created for basic communication. And that's the only <laughs> communication that mattered, dude, was fucking gossip. Second, You guys are fucking, you got, we got to get you boys off the internet. And then sec, this, this is, is like a book. you and all my friends are talking this, this is shit a book. too. All right. Second, and second, second fact from here was there was a, there's a, a lot of tribes that will talk about how like monogamy is the most important thing historically and that the nuclear family is super important um, you know, towards building an, a society. But there were some societies where once a woman got pregnant, she thought that what was happening inside of her body was the product of like everybody. Like if there's if there sperm in her body, the more sperm that was in there would make the baby better. So she would have sex with the strongest guy in the tribe. End of the plug. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then she would let the like smartest guy in the tribe come in her and like the fucking, like the funniest guy in the tribe. And like everybody would try to like pile in their fucking. Yeah. Their, their sperm for the batch that she was trying to make. And Damn. she thought that everybody together, like everybody fucking An eight layer to cream pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some seven layer bean dip. Yeah. <laughs> They're just stacking nut in there, having everybody just, cause she's like, well, I want her to be a yeah. little bit funny too, so. <laughs> That's a good idea. It is some dumb shit though that, that, that makes sense that they would think that. 
Yeah. Uh, what the fuck do they know? It's like the lions, honestly. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot like the lions. <laughs> They're just stupid as fuck being like, yeah, like we're going to need you to fuck everybody. It's crazy. <laughs> a dude definitely came up with that. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no way that was. Or maybe maybe it was the women, bro. Maybe the women are, are were just ravenous. I have no clue. That's nuts, though. <laughs> you actually need to fuck the stupidest guy, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're I can the- juggle. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you're not going to fuck me? I have a lot to offer. <laughs> I'm dumb as hell. You don't want your kid to be too smart. That's why Harry Houdini had to fucking learn magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to fuck the guy with the smallest dick. Like, no, I don't. Well, what about a magician? Well, what about this quarter behind you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't you want your kid to be blessed with the dark arts? <laughs> yeah. With the powers of the dark arts? It is so fucking perverse. That's why I'm going to start reading some fucking books just so I have some stats to bring to the table because... Uh, you got to have al- some stats. You know, dude, our algorithms are reaching singularity. Oh, it's like yeah. everybody is seeing the same exact shit. Mm-hmm. Everybody is getting the same 15 people to tweet at them. Elon's giving them all like $5,000 and they're like, thanks, I know, Elon. 5000 Wow. Yeah. Do a weekend in Atlanta, bro. Dude, I had like people from home like hit me up, be like, yo, how much did you get? Well, actually, it was one of my good friends asked me that, but I was like, uh, nothing. Yeah. Zero. I mean, old SAS would have been. I'm not. I, don't, I think you have to be verified and you have to like do ads and shit, right? Probably. Yeah. People don't realize that part of capitalism. Like the dude who was uh, like the dude with the shaved head who sings like the oh, 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 oh. You know, the dude in the parking deck who's on uh, TikTok singing that shit. I haven't posted my mind on TikTok. But he now he's doing like fucking like insurance ads and shit like that. He's doing ads for like the general. Yeah. Like that. So (laughs) these people are getting famous so fast that they will completely sell out their brand to just yeah. not work their fucking regular No, bro, no job. one cares about the art anymore. No one cares about the craft. <laughs> yeah. They care about the bag. That's it. Of like Photoshop penis videos or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Of deep fake AI shit. Deep fake AI mountain penis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's, we we got to take that picture. I know. How much would it cost? <laughs> How much would someone have to pay you to fucking, uh, to have been in that lineup if like you were on tour with Bert or some shit like that? And he was like, dude, we're all going to fucking take this picture with our fucking asses out and our fucking love handles showing. Like, don't you want to hop in this? How much would it cost? That probably nothing. I don't know. You I would wouldn't do that picture? No. Yeah, that's what I mean. But then I don't you know. You haven't seen this? No, that's the acapella version. This one's a bang. Oh, that guy's hilarious. He's funny as fuck. Yeah. Oh, that guy's hilarious. <laughs> 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 no, I haven't seen this. I just know that guy because I've seen some of his videos. He's hilarious. <laughs> We're in heaven. <laughs> Bro, this dude, that his voice is fucking incredible. Yeah, the internet. But then sucks, he's like, come though. to the general and save some time. <laughs> <laughs> But at least I'm like, if as long as I stay on like the sports and like singing side of fucking TikTok, I'm I'm a safe. I have a safe home. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going back to watching like TV shows and movies. I'm back on that wave. Documentaries. So I watch uh, the Army Hammer documentary. Not great. What's that blood sucker up to? <laughs> Nothing good. I'll tell you that. Nothing productive. Really? Yeah, he's got to get some fucking cold showers in. <laughs> reset that rewire that brain of his i don't know bro he'll probably be getting rock hard from the cold showers apparently he's like uh like full on a murderer or some shit i think he killed people i bet that he'll be welcomed back into hollywood within three years no dude i bet that they'll dude, welcome they, the him documentary back apparently it's like his whole family it's like they're they're, they're all like that they're all oh, he's the only satanist in fucking hollywood bro i don't even think he's a satanist here i think he's just a cannibal yeah he's probably more real he's what the satanists want to be yeah the documentary sucked, though. It wasn't worth watching at all. Uh, did you see the story about the friends, the group of friends that ate their buddy's foot? He had to get his foot amputated, so they pan-seared it or some shit? No, but it sounds like a good idea. Would you do that? Eat his foot? Yeah. Why did they do it? Like, to survive? To, no, to, like try to, to, to try it. To try it. They, like, got a medical exemption to eat their buddy's foot. No, I would not do that. I mean, if they're amputating the foot, I'm assuming there's something wrong with the foot, right? Uh, I don't know. Like, was it diabetes? 
here's the story right here. This guy si- served his friends tacos from his own amputated uh, leg. Oh, okay. Like so, like a more of like a Hannibal type thing. But it was like his buddies. It was Hannibal. Did he, was, they know because Hannibal served his. They, he served all. Of them I think they days. knew. I think it was Taco Tuesday. No, <laughs> his no. name was LeBron James. There's no way, <laughs> dude. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh fuck! What? I don't think I guess I put up the wrong link for this fucking show. You fucking idiot. What the fuck is wrong with you? But I think that if you if you like if you put a foot in a big green egg so you could like pull the bones out of the toes, I think toes could be succulent. I think that toes could be if they weren't too cartilaginous, I think that they could go down real easy like a boneless buffalo wing or some shit like that. That's just me talking. It's like the fall off the bone video. Yeah. Fall off the bone it just free. falls off the foot. <laughs> yeah. I really think it could be like that. Maybe. And that got me thinking about how fucking, uh, this was a conversation I had on the boat before we got stuck in the mud with my buddy, Mike, bro, that, uh, horse, horse meats is, uh, could be pretty good. And they used to serve it at Dallas Andros in Philly. Dallas Andros got busted the cheesesteak place for serving horse meat. Like it's a place you just have a stack of it on a griddle and then life comes fucking beautifully full circle when I got to fucking Africa because one of the places they offered a skewer of mystery meat and one of the things was zebra, which is basically a horse. So, you know, I had to try it and I'll be honest with you, zebra is pretty fucking good. What was one that you didn't like? The alligator? Alligator was gross. Yeah, it looked gross as fuck. It was gamey. It was yeah. white meat. So you thought it'd be, it'd be lean and nice. It looked gross. It looked like a jello. But even the guy was like, why would you eat a meat eater? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's a pretty good fucking question. It was fucking thick as hell, but they had a nice thick peppercorn sauce on it. They would have liked it down in Huntsville for sure. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So best was. Uh, you see that video of that dude wrestling the alligator mm-mm. at like the zoo? Mm-mm. He was like at a zoo and the, and the trainer that was like at the zoo got bit by the alligator oh wait i did see this of and course i have because our algorithms are yeah he hopped in and he fucked that thing up that was awesome that was a badass video it makes me and then the lady gets out and he's like what do i do now <laughs> <laughs> and he's just sitting on top of an alligator yeah, what the hell do i do <laughs> yeah because <laughs> he really can't be like <laughs> yeah that was hilarious but he bodied that fucking oh, gator yeah he wrestled the fuck out of it yeah i that used to be a fantasy of mine to wrestle an alligator? Yeah, until I realized that I'd grow up to be a weak adult. <laughs> you can still do it. KB did it. They just like duct tape the mouth shut and then it's pretty much you're just wrestling like a fucking hot dog. <laughs> no, dude. They're still, they can whip their heads hard as fuck. Yeah. At one of the college football shows, they brought out the alligator. It was like a Florida Georgia game or something. And I think it was taped shut. So I still tried to like pet the top of it and it fucking smacked my head so yeah. hard with the bottom of its head that. I just wasn't ready for that power. Yeah, it smacked thrust. your shit up. Smacked my shit up. Did you right? It really did. <laughs> don't go petting a gator, man. I know from experience. I know from experience, too. You do not want to pet a gator. You do not want to pet a gator. Yeah, I couldn't wrestle with Gators one. are nasty, too. They'll eat people. You think so? Yeah, they like to. Have you seen that graphic of, what is it, a bear, a hippo, a gator, and like a lion or a tiger? Yeah, a gator, obviously, is who you want to fight. Same. Yes. Obviously. You can get get on their back. They're fucking stupid. Yeah, they have dinosaur brains. You can like go left. Go and they won't side be able to, to side. F- yeah, follow you. Fucking idiots. A bear. People dude. were being like a hippo out of water. The fuck, dude. <laughs> dude, my buddy. Hippos uh, might be the scariest one. So my buddy, who's in Alaska, he had to. They he has to have like they had to kill a bear. Uh, no, they actually have had to kill two bears. No, because they get like too aggressive with the guests and stuff, and then they scream and they won't go away, and they got to shoot it because it's getting like about to charge. And uh, what? Yeah, he said it's pretty like devastating when it happens, but it's crazy out there too. He said it's he said it's nuts out there. He said he's gonna buy. He said he's looking at buying a gun because he has, like, he has a ten millimeter clock and a fucking twelve gauge shotgun that like they gave him because hmm. he has because he's a guide, so he needs to be able to like protect the guests. What? Yeah, and he said that he was uh he was like thinking about getting, he was thinking about buying a gun. A semi-auto? When, no, when he goes back to Denver, he's like, I'm, I might buy a pistol. And he was like uh, talking to one of the dudes out there who's like a big gun guy. Yeah. And he was like, uh, he's like, so do you think I should like uh, get like a nine millimeter or a 10 millimeter? And he's like, and also, does it think it really matters like how, how much money I spend? Like, should I spend a lot so I can have it for a while or should I spend a little? And he was like, honestly, man, I would just get the nine and the 10 before the government decides to take them all away. <laughs> 
So now he's like, he's like, you got to buy two guns. He's like, now he's going to buy two pistols. You got to get a, a whole fleet of them. He's going to be them. dual pistoling. You gonna need, Akimbo. You're, you're going to need a 50 caliber with yeah. a fucking car mount before the government takes yeah. it away. <laughs> Bro, they need to fucking legalize that shit in New York too, dude. I've seen enough bears in Chelsea. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I might need to mow these boys down. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck though? So he's he's somewhere where he's seeing a bunch of bears that that's the kind of tours he's giving? Constantly, yeah. I was like, did you, I was like, have you had to shoot any of the bears? And he was like, uh, no. I had to shoot at a bear though because they burn their trash because mm. there's nowhere for them to bring their trash. They're mm. like in a completely remote area. They fly in like helicopters. So they're contributing to climate change. Pretty much. Wow. And he was like, I was bringing the trash over to where we burn it and I saw like a massive black bear like standing there and he was yelling at it the minute like, hey bear. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. <laughs> that video is so <laughs> funny. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. Hey bear. Keep talking. All righty, let's talk about the Barstool Sports Book. I love the Barstool Sports Book. I love the Barstool Sports Book as well. I love to gamble. Man, I've been gambling on a little bit of baseball. I just got back in on the Phillies. I got, I put in a thousand dollar bet at 35 to, to one. So last year I had a thousand dollars at 40 to one. I should have cashed out when they were in the World Series. I would have done well, but I got. Some of the best odds I saw anywhere, and you can get them too at the Barstool Sportsbook. So I win, I win thirty five thousand dollars if the Phillies win the World Series. That's pretty big. I, and if I that happens, a... I'm taking us all on safari. So oh, wow. let's root for it. All right? all right, let's all root for it. I just okay? put in a future for the Bills to win the Super Bowl. Take that shirt off. <laughs> I did. No, take it off. I was gonna put in another bet, but just I... put in put in one for the Eagles. Too. Yeah, I think I was gonna put in a couple. Just put in two. I was gonna put in the Bills, the the Eagles, and the Patriots. The Patriots, bro. Yeah. You're you don't want to throw you don't want to do that. <laughs> of course I do. No, you but won't. the best thing is that I can do all of them at, responsibly. At, yes. At the Barstool Sports Book. Download and sign up for the Barstool Sports Book today. Terms apply. Must be 21 or older. Gambling problem, call one 800 gambler <laughs> You can say anything. They don't understand what you're saying. You're just yelling. And he, the, the bear like kind of walked away like a couple of feet and then it just like stood there like behind a tree. Like trying to play like a little like hide and go seek. There and he said that like he that. just like took out his pistol and he just like shot in that direction. Did it go running? He said he didn't hear anything. What? So he was like, so either the, I killed the bear and it just dropped or it just like slowly walked away. Nuh-uh. Yeah. What the fuck? And he said he has no idea. He's like, I might have killed it. I don't know. Close his eyes and hit something? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but he's shotgunned up, dude. He's living in a fucking cabin that's smaller than this room. So what did they drive and he around in? Me and he's just he's just cocking the shotgun constantly. Damn, bro. there's nothing in it, but <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm like, dude, you should not have that. Yeah, he's he's a bad day away from turning that thing oh, around. Yeah, and he's been FaceTiming me. He's like, dude, it's been raining for the last three weeks. <laughs> Put on some Pearl Jam. You yeah. wind up like Eddie Vedder or. No, no I like Kirk still Cobain. Alive. Kirk Cobain, sorry, bro. Kirk Cobain, of course. Um, mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Sing it. So wait, but what do they drive around in up there? Is it like a safari type vehicle? Because I really have the lust for fucking seeing wildlife like that. Uh, no, dude, they don't drive around. I don't think they even have a car. So how? What? Why do? What are? Is it guided hikes? Guided fly fishing. So you just go out to the. You just meet up at the river. There's guests that spend like $10,000 a week to go where he is. Wow. And then he brings them out to the water, to like the rivers and the lakes. And they, and he like walks them around and like tells them what to do. Yeah. I think I'm something of an outdoorsman myself. Yeah. In that I want something with heated seats that I can have my fucking <laughs> cappuccino and hold with two hands and a blanket on my lap while I'm one foot away from an animal getting their face ripped off. Yeah. I did think that I might go out there and be like, oh, I feel bad for the fucking springbok or the fucking uh, buffalo that's getting eaten. I've, I felt no remorse in my heart. Hell no. It's the circle of life. I thought that I was going to be like, oh, no, like the poor thing. Like, why do you got to shoot it? Yeah. Like, you ever see the video of the kid when the no. hunter goes through like his neighborhood in New Jersey? No. It's like, why do you got to shoot it? What did that deer ever do to you? <laughs> <laughs> the guy was like, I eat it. Like, you eat meat? He's like, yeah, but I don't kill it. And yeah. I was like, well, that's the logic. And yeah. that's kind of was my logic a lot of the time. I don't really feel that bad about animals getting killed by other animals. It's the circle of life, bro. They said that nothing dies of old age. 
Yeah, no shit, dude. Because when they're getting rolled up on by a pack of twelve tigers, it's a country. Of yeah, moms. yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean, though. If nothing dies of old age, it really is like circle of. It made me feel like better about my own eventual death. Feed me to the fucking lions, dude. I know. Throw my fu- drag my body behind Seriously. fucking razor and Sipo's fucking safari vehicle and yeah. let the lions go to town on me. Yeah, or whoever gets there first, the hyenas, the big boys, the fucking <laughs> wild dogs. Dude, the uh, the birds. The only thing, the only bears that are out there right now are black bears. Are those the which ones are bigger? The grizzlies, black brown bears. So black bears are the tiny friendly. Black ones. bears are like I, I think he sent me a video of one of the black bears, <laughs> and they're very small. But he said in a couple weeks when the salmon start making their way down the river, he said it's going to be that's when all the grizzlies come out. But do the grizzlies have any interest in humans? Dude, the grizzlies will maul a human to death. So what happens if you're that's probably what, That's probably what the shotgun is for. The pistol would not kill a grizzly. Really? Unless you shot it like 10 times in the head. Uh, so in The Revenant, that was a, a grizzly? Yeah. That he shot in the face? This is a video? This is right outside his cabin. No. Yeah. No. People make it seem like that kind of bear you can just... Uh, like pet? Yeah. Like you could spook them. Like you, I, that one, you apparently, you can. And that one looks like it's pretty young. That's probably like a cub. And I think you can spook those ones. I think you can. I think you go up to them and you just go, "Hey bear, hey bear," <laughs> and then they and then they skedaddle away. But grizzlies, if you see a grizzly, you're fucked. That's when you got to bring out the. But so what? Inch. What? So if he's fly fishing and then he sees a grizzly on another bank, like two hundred yards away or something like that. What is his protocol? I have is the no grizzly going to charge him and fuck him up, or can he like back away to his car or just like I think does probably he have to push the Johnsons in front of him. You probably back away. Maybe you probably load up that twelve gauge and start getting ready to fucking shoot it if it charges at you. Really? I'd, I'd assume so. I mean, dude, grizzly bears are huge. They weigh like like I think like they max out at like thirteen hundred pounds. <laughs> That's unfathomably big. And polar bears are 1,500. That's nine Diegos. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. That's so fucking massive. I know. Holy shit. And apparently, like, these salmon are about to start making their way down the river, and then it's just going to be grizzly town. I bet those salmon are so delicious, though. Oh, yeah. They just stand at the river and just slurp up salmon all day. Oh, my God. They're lazy animals, I think. Bears or salmon? Grizzlies. Yeah? They just eat all summer, and then they just sleep for, like, nine months. Lazy fucks. I know. Get a fucking job. Get a job. <laughs> Sleep for 20 hours, fucking work for four. You lazy, stupid fucks. You lazy sons of bitches. All right, you want to call it? Yeah. Son of a boy dad. We are doing well as a podcast. We've grown. <laughs> We've grown recently in the last month or so. If you want to be part of the growth, fucking... Buy in now. Get some tickets to Lil Sass's comedy shows in Atlanta. You yes. can buy tickets at lilsassquatchcomedy.com. No, lilsassquatchwebsite.com. Fuck. Now everybody's going to be flooding to the other one. I bro. know. You fucked me. There's people who turned it off as soon as I finished I that know. word. They probably they went straight to the website. I've fucked my brother again. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Adios.